first of all, I don't actually think the country is as divided as Washington is. I know that sounds like a political trope, but I actually mean it. I, my state, again, I'm the only candidate who's won in a swing state, and it is a third Democratic, a third Republican, and a third Independent. And in Colorado, and I would assert in New Hampshire, there is a 70% yes agenda on investing in infrastructure, on what we need to do on K-12 and on higher ed, on trade policy, on whether it's a great idea to have $22 trillion of debt on the balance sheet and not investing in the next generation of Americans, on climate change, on energy. And, uh, but we never act on any of that in Washington because Washington is so polarized and so divided. And that's because it's the way we raise money. It's the way we get known. The, the, more, the more negative light we can cast the other side, the more successful we are. The, the greater the promises we make without being able to keep them, the more successful we are. And so what I would do if I were elected president is the first piece of business I would do would be to reverse the Trump tax bill. And I would do that, I would begin that process not in the White House, not in the Congress, but in a very rural red part of America. And I would say to the farmers and ranchers in that community who are going to be good mathematicians because they're among the best mathematicians that we have in our society, please come with your calculators. And we're going to sit there and I'm going to show you what my tax bill will do for you compared to the lies that Donald Trump told about his tax bill. And I would invite the Fox News hosts to come. I doubt very much they have calculators, but uh, if, they, if they had them, they could bring them too. And I'd have them sit there and have to endure uh, the work as we unpack the lies Donald Trump has told and, and gave people a path forward. I think that's what we need to expect out of the next president. This polarity is not going to fix itself. It's going to have to be the job of a president. Who, who, who sees it as part of their duty to keep this country together. Not for some shabby, moderate consensus, but to use the genius of the American people to create an agenda that actually can work for our future and for our kids. That's what we need.